How come you stopped playing ice hockey? Okay, do you guys, thank you for asking, but you might think this is really stupid because you probably won't understand, but I'll tell you why I stopped playing ice hockey. So my entire life, I've been playing hockey, right? And I've always known someone on the team. Always, right? Except for when I was younger. But then I met friends, so I always knew people, right? And if, as you know, ice hockey is a predominantly white sport, right? So most of the K-Konas, most of those boys, they play ice hockey, you know? And a lot of times, you know, the N-word gets thrown around in the ice hockey shit. At least when I grew up where it was. But I always had, like, friends on the team, right? And, you know, some of them were hard asses. You know, someone said some racist shit. My friend Harris, you know, to fuck him up, right? So I always had that, I always had that sort of support, you know, and stuff like that. But now that I moved down to Texas, uh, I don't have any friends here. So I am, I'm a bit nervous and scared to actually, uh, to actually play it. There, there's been times where I've played hockey and the enemy team ha has called me like the N-word before and the ref heard it and the ref kicked him out of the game and suspended him from school for, uh, two days. So, you know, it, trust me, listen, there's no, there's no debating. I'm not debating this. It is an issue. It is. There's no debate. Fuck them and play harder. Yeah, you're right. You just got to use this motivation. Actually, the my last, the last, this is a true story. You can ask, you can ask anyone. So if you look at my Facebook, I have a, a picture of uh, a hockey team and we're the champions, right? We're the champions. And the reason we won the champion, so we were, we were about two weeks before, we were playing against a team, right? Um, and, uh, they were beating the shit out of us. It was like eight to three or something. They were beating the shit out of us. And one of their players, their best player literally had like all eight goals, right? All eight goals. And when you play adult leagues, there's no checking. There's no checking, right? And this guy was beating us so bad. And you know, I got pissed about it. He was beating us. And you know what I did? Uh, I don't remember either, either he had the puck and I just drilled him, right? I just checked the shit out of him because he beat the fuck out of us right it, it was over and you know he got up pissed off you know we started fighting right and so we got thrown into the penalty box both of us you know and what he does is when he gets in the penalty box you know Ducks he's dick no yeah no he just starts repeatedly calling me the n-word right repeatedly calling me the n-word and the penalty box is let me go full cam it's, it's set up like this it goes him the score girls and me so he's throwing n-words over the score girls right and they hear everything, you know? He's just, he's popping off, he's flipping off. And the score girl actually was dating someone on my team, right? So she hears it all, she hears it all. And she goes to the people, the refs, tells the refs, and the refs go to the league, and the guy gets suspended for the rest of the year for what he did, said to me. So we end up playing his team in the championship but he's the best player, and he's not on the team, right? So we beat the shit out of him and win the whole league. Because he could not control his mouth. Yeah, and we win. We're the champions. Proof is in my Facebook. So, like, you're on the internet, you know, and you got these people, like, you know, after, after uh, you know, they're always dropping the in-bombs. Listen, you get in trouble in real life, bro. You get in trouble. It's serious. It's serious. And we ended up winning. So that, that was the last hockey game I've played. Last hockey game we played. But what if you drop the N-bomb on people of every color? Well, there's two different words. There's the A and there's the ER. If he said the A, he probably wouldn't have gotten in trouble. But he was hard R on it like a motherfucker. You feel me? All right, let's see if you can join. There we go. So yeah, that's another reason why I don't play hockey. I love hockey. It's it's hockey like to me is like pure serenity. Like you go out there, the ice, you smell the ice, you move, the wind in your face. Like it's great. It's the best escape for me. But it's not a safe space. You sound white as fuck. Well, my dad's white. I grew up in Rochester, Michigan, which is a predominantly white city. I play hockey, and I can do derivatives, integrals, and high calculus. So I'm not your typical black person, but don't get it twisted, brother. I am black. That's for sure. Bro, you're like one-fourth. Stop trying to act tough. How are you going to tell me that?
Let's do 34 dabs. You guys ready? No! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>